Topic of the month, August 2015, Flight Risk Assessment Tools. Hi, I'm Carl Valeri. I'm a lead representative here in the Tampa FISDO. You can find this video and more at youtube.com slash expert aviator. Of course, you can also look at expertaviator.com for more videos. In this presentation, we'll talk a little bit about recommendations from the General Aviation Joint Steering Committee, a government industry group that analyzes general aviation accidents and incidents. The committee feels that improved risk assessment before and during flight can significantly improve pilots' chances of avoiding accidents and incidents. We'll talk about pilots' responsibility for risk assessment and show you some tools that will help you in planning and analysis routines. Our responsibility for risk assessment is amazingly clear in two paragraphs of Part 91. 91.3 deals with our responsibility and authority, and 91.103 discusses our pre-flight action requirements. The takeaway in 91.3 is that the PIC, the Pilot in Command, is the final authority for the safety of flight. In other words, the buck stops here. 91103 details what we're responsible for knowing before flight, and it takes several paragraphs to cover the subject. But when you add it all up, again, it comes to this. Consider everything. Consider and act on all information that could have relevance to the flight. That means we need to identify potential hazards and have a plan to deal with them before we take off. And by the way, we also have a responsibility to constantly evaluate hazards and make good decisions with respect to them throughout the flight. When we speak of risk assessment, we're posing and answering three questions. What are the hazards associated with my flight? We're talking about identifying conditions and circumstances that could make safe completion of the flight questionable. What are the chances that identified hazards will compromise my flight? Look at a list of possible hazards. How likely is it that any of them will give us trouble during the flight? The expression of likelihood is known as risk. How can I manage the risk of accident or incidents? What, excuse me, what adjustments can I make to my planning, qualifications, and equipment that will contribute to my success? Risk assessment is very much a matter of balance. And here's an example of how it works. Here's a balance sheet with liabil liabilities in one column and assets in another. Liabilities or hazards are factors and circumstances that increase the risk of something bad happening. And assets are pilot capabilities, aircraft, equipment, and resources that increases the chances of safe outcome. So let's say we want to make a VFR flight where the weather is expected to be less than 5,000 foot ceiling and less than 5 miles visibility. While not clear in a million, those weather conditions are well within the capability of most any pilot. But what might we apply in the way of assets? That would make the flight even safer. How about an instrument rating? Planning a route over flat terrain in daylight would certainly improve our chances of success. Suppose the surface winds at our planned destination will be greater than 15 knots with a 30 degree crosswind. Certainly, there are a number of things that we can do, including waiting for less energetic winds or choosing an airport with a runway more aligned with the wind. Recent crosswind experience, especially with a certified flight instructor, will make us more comfortable and add a margin of safety to the flight. But what if we want to make this flight at night? That may just be more risk than should be accepted. If we're going to do it at night, we really want to have the weather that's better than 5,005 and an instrument rating with flat terrain would also be an asset, of course. So here we go. We've just built a simple fl flight risk assessment tool, or FRAT as they say. <laughs> And we've used it to identify assets that compensate for liabilities. Of course, there are many more safety factors to consider for any flight. So many, in fact, 
that the General Aviation Joint Steering Committee recommends use of a flight risk assessment tool to help pilots in their pre- and in-flight evaluations. For more flight risk assessment tool information, download and read information for operators number 07015. It's a more comprehensive tool to help you manage the risk of flight. You know, the URL for this publication is way too long to copy in this seminar. So let's navigate to fa.gov and type info0715 into the search window and click search. That will get you to this page, and from here you can download the publication. Want an easier way to do that? We're introducing the F Fast Team Flight Risk Assessment Tool, an easy to use, basic flight risk assessment tool for general aviation pilots. The Fast Flight Risk Assessment Tool is a simple automated spreadsheet that contains 20 condition statements for VFR pilots and 22 for IFR pilots. The statements describe common general aviation flight liabilities and assets. Pilots simply click the Yes box next to each statement that applies to their flight. Each Yes statement generates a risk value, and those values are totaled on the sheet. The total risk value is related to the risk matrix chart to determine whether the flight risk is likely to be low, moderate, or high. In this example, the pilot has fewer than 15 hours in the last 90 days, but a wings phase was completed in the last six months. The risk of low experience is canceled by the wings phase completion. Surface winds will be greater than 15 knots, resulting in a risk value of plus 4. The flight will be at a non-towered airport. Ceiling will be less than 3,000, and there's no weather reporting at the destination. This results in a risk value of 15. Looking at the risk matrix chart, we see that a total risk value of 15 is between low and moderate for a VFR pilot with fewer than 100 hours time and type, but well within the low range for an IFR pilot with more than 100 hours time and type. No flight risk assessment tool can cover all possible flight hazards, but this one, though simple, does address some factors that are common to GA accidents. We hope its use will prompt you to learn more about safety risk management. Now to get your copy, here's what you do. Log, log in to fasafety.gov and click on resources, then click on library. Click on the flight risk assessment tool, it says FAST, F-R-A-T. Download the appropriate flight risk assessment tool for your computer. It's that simple. Well, hopefully this has helped you in trying to assess your risk. I encourage you to go out to the website and look at the flight risk assessment tool. We'll have links at expertaviator.com. And for more videos like this, the topics of the month, go to expertaviator.com and also subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash expertaviator. Well, this has been Carl Valeri at expertaviator.com and also lead representative uh, for the FA safety team here at the Tampa FISDO. We'll talk to you in the next episode.